Today's episode contains a considerable amount of sauce, so you are of the faint-hearted and don't like colourful language, then skip this episode and listen to something boring. I am a bit of a I am a bit of a and there's no oh, going see, around that. See, I'm going to take that little section and just put that right at the beginning. Can you feel the power? The power of the section. Okay, should we start the show? Hello listeners, welcome to the number episode 18 of Just a Tip. Uh, thanks for bearing with us. The usual service has been resumed. I said service then, not not actually um, not service, but that's how we roll here on Just a Tip. Thank you. I don't know what happened the last couple of episodes. They were, well, they were, I mean, they were a bit slapdash at best, really, weren't they? Well, okay, um, what do you mean by and, slapdash? And, and here... One here more, that, yeah, look, you, you're talking over me again. We've spoken about this. I mean, I thought it was going to be a big comeback. It's going to, it was going to be like the the Led Zeppelin reunion of like 2007. All right, then Jimmy Page. You, you f***ed it right up again, haven't you? All right. And Stay well, away with, to heaven. Without further ado, please welcome the the deck to my ant, the oats to my halls. The scrot to my balls, Mr. Sandy Mahal. He gives me a funk soundtrack. Do you know what this this music is, though? Oh, it's uh, yeah, yeah, the American series. What is it? The, the, Stanford the, and Sons. Which, Stanford which, and Sons. Exactly. Which, which which is what one Sands San Sanford. It's got your name in, right? Oh, Sanford. Two. two it's it's also the uh, American equivalent of of this. <laughs> so now, I'm I, was actually, I was actually being nice to you, but now I'm just yeah you know, back back to calling you a prick. Uh, uh, hey, stop pretending you're drinking water. I saw the beer earlier on that you had don't know, shot. Don't know oh, what you talk. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, yeah, Mister T Total. <laughs> I don't drink. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh what, what's that PT instructor? Yeah, I'm just drinking this, this water. <laughs> look up, look anyway, up. you're you actually in quite quite a jovial mood considering the fact that the last episode I sort of went a a bit emotional. What, what are you talking about? Uh, last episode. Have you listened? So we're well, we're on episode eight. Yeah, yeah. So so uh, episode well, sixteen. Uh, I have to apologise about to to you, you and more importantly to the listeners because um, it, you know I I was on a train and so it was it, I mean it wasn't great was it it was it was more it was study. an exercise it's people, an exercise in what you shouldn't do that's people, that's the official people look at that in in the future and they'll basically like study how not to do a podcast and and that that's that's why we're here that's because we want to help. You help yourself. Yes, and we've taught them how not to do it. Yeah. And that is our just a tip that we gave to the world. And I'm very happy about that. And then that was that was the last podcast, really, that that, that we had scheduled because you said I know you uh, uh were getting turfed out of the um NCP car park or whatever wherever you your park. I'm noticing at the moment you're not actually in a car. Oh you have you managed to um well, find, I can, have you managed to find like a cafe or something that was free uh, rinse the Wi-Fi? No, I'm actually in a hostel. So, so the NCP car park you actually referred to, it's weird. I felt like I was in a hotel within a hotel. So I'm mm. in my car, which is now my hotel. I right, hold on a sec. He's <laughs> uh, for the oh, no, uh, listening don't. public. Oh. He's no, basically I don't know where that Santa's gone. disappeared off, and he is. Um, Bit talking to someone in the hostel. Yeah. Who, who, who was that? Are they, is that uh, someone you owe money to? Yeah, no, no, that's actually someone else from next door. He just wanted a cup of like money, so I felt I had to oblige because yeah, he's got because yeah. he's got sixteen tattoos and just came out of prison. So uh, it's not exactly the safest place around here. Stereotype. <sighs> well, not not stereotyping. He actually said, "I've just come out of prison. I've got sixteen tattoos, and can I have a cup of money?" And yes, I had to oblige. Well, we can't argue with that, can you, really? I can't say anything to that. Anyway, what were you saying before I was rudely interrupted? Yeah, so I'm actually in a, in a hostel at the moment for the sheer fact that I had a bit of money. So I've been selling bits of my car. 
So yes, I've reached rock bottom. <laughs> Have you missed that? Have you missed that like a punch in the face? <laughs> oh, Dennis Waterman. Where were you? I found it. I found it. <laughs> I, I found it with with, with, all, with all the C, uh, the uh, uh, my little loops. I I be so good for you. Sand, stop! Get him! <laughs> He's got a shooter. Oh, nice. This is actually... Yeah, I missed all of these in the last episode. Let's let this so, one finish. So, what I was... Uh, so, yeah, so, so we did we, we did episode 16... Uh, and then, then I noticed because I'm because I'm well, I don't know. I I I am the one of the only subscribers. I mean, there's only I mean, there's fifty percent and a hundred percent of the subscribers to our podcast are actually on this call right now. Um, because I uh, subscribe to our podcast, which you can, <laughs> listeners, you can subscribe by clicking that subscribe button wherever you get your podcast from, and plug. As you, you you have to do that. You always have to do things like that now. Yeah. And all that kind of thing. Mercilessly plugging. That's good. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Um, you know, because obviously we are massive influencers, so we we, we have to uh, take this take this shit seriously. Oh, yeah, so sorry. there you go. Yeah, exactly. You're looking cool. So because I subscribe to the podcast randomly, uh, one day last week, can't remember which day it was, I got an alert saying just a tip episode, another episode seventeen had <laughs> dropped onto my phone. And that was the sounds takeover, and I thought, okay, well, maybe because we do record a lot of stuff, don't we? We do we record quite a lot of material, and then you basically just like just cut round all the bits to make me yes. look like a right prick, and then and then put it on the actual show. And so I thought, all oh, right, he's, he's having a laugh, he's doing he's doing this. And so I listened to it, and I don't know whether to get angry or. Or if it was just a cry for help. So I mean, you know, I think I think I think the best thing I could do is to not react until I've heard the full. You know, I've, I've actually let well, you explain yourself. Yeah. So basically, I, I mean, look. Let's face it. You were sending me all those voicemail messages, weren't you? What voicemail messages? All those celebrity voicemail messages that that sound like Boris Johnson, but to have a hint of Kit Johnston in. So, and Chris Tarrant. So, basically, I started wigging you, you out. Keep I you, these messages. you keep saying that you've got Chris, Chris Tarrant's phone number. No, no, I do not have Chris Tarrant's any, the, any contact. You keep telling me that you've got Chris Tarrant's phone number and you can, you can um, like, no. call him a drop of a hat. No, no. Every I, time no, we go I out, pre, pre-COVID, pre-lockdown, every time we'd go out, you'd always end the, end the night by threatening to call Chris Tarrant. To in, in to to finish whatever argument we it was that we got ourselves into. Weirdly enough, I can't remember any of those conversations, which means I must have been uh checks note. So you know, I don't have Chris Tarrant's number. And even next time I say it, just say, look, you've actually proved on a podcast you don't have it. I think when I drink alcohol at Oliver Reed levels, I tend to like basically say anything. Really, I mean, I can say that I was yes, JFK's assassin. It could happen. But, but okay, let, let's go with your. Well, let's go with your. Okay, let me explain one let's thing. Let's go with your your version of events, right? No, no, so, okay, so what? No, so what? Let me explain. Let me explain. Yeah, okay. Let me explain. Let me explain. So basically, none of these celebrities actually called me up. So I'd get a voicemail message from your number, and as I explained in the podcast, someone must have come to your house, taken your phone, left a voicemail message, and just basically left it at that. That is how the voicemail messages came in. It's like a dog in a simpering fart. Thank you very much. I'm here all week. So, that's pretty much why I made the show. It's just this relentless, massive amount of kind of like messages that were coming through from different people. And who's Clive from Universal? Who's who's what? Clive Clive from Universal. Yeah, the money rolling he's a, down is actually quite ironic because we're not making any money. His, name, his name's just Clive, and he probably works at Universal. That's what are you talking about. There is no Clive. There is no Universal. We've cancelled Universal, which means that was you. And why would Clive call me in a car? Because most of those phone calls are made in a car. 
<laughs> they could be, he could be a busy guy. So I'm going to ask you to explain yourself. Why are you just leaving me random messages? Is it loneliness, desperation, or just pretending that we've got celebrities that want to call us? Well, firstly, they're private messages. Secondly, what what is the f***ing point? And what is it? Sorry, what not what's the point? What's point? What is wrong with with two great mates leaving leaving bantery messages to each other to one another? Those those are quite stalkery and quite like scary. Basically. Why are they stalkery? They're a bit stalkery because they're all just coming to me and just referencing me by name as if I knew them. Yeah, because and, and the tarot it's for the, was threatening. It's, it's for the banter, isn't it? Yeah, but the tarot, the tarot the mob was threatening. So yeah, well, I didn't take it that way. I started freaking out. So I'm in my car in the NCP car park, hotel within a hotel, and I'm just starting sitting in the dark, basically, knowing that I might get attacked any moment now, listening to these messages coming through. Yeah, but you've just said that that wasn't Twist Tarrant, that was me. That was blatantly, obviously, me. So why are you getting, why are you getting scared about it? Okay, maybe I have had a few Guinnesses at the time, so that didn't help. Rule the power. The power of the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we have a rave? Shall we have a rave whilst in your hostel? Wait a sec. It's it's just a tip, not a rave culture. Oh, I've been watching a lot of White Lines on Netflix. Oh, fair enough. Is it good? Are we now a film review show? Okay, what's White Lines like? It's not a review. It's not. It's it's not a film, is it? It's a series. It's a series. What's the series then? We'll watch it on Netflix. So um, we're not a review no, no. show, as you said. Oh, I want your Mark Commodism. What is it? Is it? Does it have a strong, punchy story? Well, I think. Well, I think Sans. I think he's got. Uh, no, I'm not going there. <clears throat> I'm not. I'm not going there because I might get insulting, and then there's far too much editing for you to uh, to do. So oh, yeah. we don't get sued. <laughs> Another we'll lawsuit. The name. <laughs> okay, we'll bleep the name. So. Okay, so I'll so tell you one thing you're though. You're okay. legitimately, you're legit. Yes, go on. I, I finally I managed to read my Bob Geldof letter. Thank you very much. The one that letter you every time at the end of the show, you go, No, 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 we're gonna do that. No, 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 cat, cat, we're not gonna do that. And I did some social justice shit with that letter as well. And, and how, how do you think, how do you think it went down? How was the uh, how's the response? Uh, I. I mean, I'm too scared to check online. Let's do a re. Let's do. I'll, I'll do a reenactment of uh, of of uh, every time you say you wanted to do it. Right, yeah. We're so coming to the end of the show. Oh, come to the end of the show. Oh, oh, I know what I said. Can I, can I read my book out of letter? I read it. I wrote it about sixteen years ago, and I think it's really funny and really relevant. And oh um, yeah, and it's saying a lot, isn't it, about comedy? Oh no, oh no, it's not. What do you mean, no, it's not? No, it's not saying. So well, it's not even funny. It, I know nothing about this is funny, but no, you can't say anything or criticize because I'm going to get really personal about it, and then I'm going to go and have the master cry in the car. You sound just like a letter all writer all this, to the Daily Mail online. That's the, literally what they write, how they talk. All the all the your your, your windows in your car are going to be steamed up. <laughs> You'll do a Titanic moment. Yeah, is this a good time to mention seagulling? No. I don't, I don't know. What, whatever you do in your car, you can, it's your your time. Okay, well, I definitely can't put that in the show notes, so I'll I'll pass that by. So, so do you actually like the show though? Did you like my impressions of you? They were great impressions. Did you think? Wait a sec. I'm wait. I'm I'm listening to a show, and I'm not on it, but I can hear myself. Did you have that Inception moment? <laughs> uh no, not really. Oh well. No, okay. Well, I thought it just sounded like a massive cry for help. Actually, I think every episode is a cry for help, to be honest. Uh, of what you want, you wanted to achieve, you know, like like you. Uh, if we if we just look at what's actually happened, so I started a podcast with good intentions. You hijacked it. Eighteen episodes in now, well, eight, well, seventeen episodes in, you decide to go. Oh, well, look, look, I could do it my way. I could do it my way. Look. <laughs> Thanks and that, so I can do it my way. Right, anyway, I've got a podcast. Easy this shit, isn't it? Anyway, I can do a podcast these days, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Radio 4, please give me a job. Please give me a job. I'll do anything. I'll do anything you like. Oh, 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 please give me a job. Bleep, by the way. I'll give me a job. Uh, uh. Aren't I funny with my observations from 2003 that I still think are relevant? Because in my head, I 
I'm still 22. <laughs> I should be crying, but that's actually the best impression of me I've ever heard. So, And even when I'm listening to myself on the previous podcast, that was a better impression of me than me. So, I mean, the, po- the podcast wasn't actually the, uh, I mean, yeah, that was that was the cherry on the cake. But what happened before was, um, do you want to, shall we, shall we just uh, go off grid for, uh, off grid? Oh, sorry, off, off script for, uh, for a little while. Do you want to, um, do you want to fill the listeners in to your, so, so I got uh, a text from you, um, from your number, definitely was you, saying you, you sent some of what, you know, what we do to your commissioner friend oh yes yes and your producer friend and yes. and it was like yeah well you you do you, you tell the story well which one are you talking about the sketches yeah yeah i sent the sketches to some people that i met in soho house when i used to be somebody when i was a player when i used to buy drinks for everybody when i was before i basically went downhill and partnered with you on this amazing podcast which I'm hashtag blessed. And they came back, said it's brilliant. They said it was amazing. It was beautiful. That's not quite, that's, that's not quite true, though, is it, Sans? Do you want uh, to, like, okay, there, there's, there's that, that's, the, uh, that's what happened in your head. Yes, that's my revisionist world. history. Do you Alternative wanna, facts. Do you want to actually just state, you know, uh, I'm not looking for a JTT-specific pod spin on it. I'm looking for the actual, the actual you know, we're not doing a recording now. Just okay. tell me, tell me what actually happened. So you're working with a producer. You sent some some sketches to yes. him. Yes, and they said it was amazing. And being a sycophant, I, I absorb these kind of things. So it's three sketches I filmed on top of an NCP car park. <laughs> it, it is beautiful, Kit. So I had the camera and I had my Apple Watch and I used the Apple Watch as a viewfinder. Then I had this Osmo 3. We're going to put this all in the advertising show notes and put adverts for it. So I had the Osmo Mobile 3 with the actual thing pointing at me and I filmed like three monologues. Three emotionally heartbreaking monologues. Because I have a side business kit out of this. Yeah. Not all about JTT. It's about JTT and SM. SM? Yeah, me. Sans Mahal. I thought your surname began with an H for some reason. Hans Mahal. I don't know. <laughs> I'm anyway, sorry, I've anyway. forgo- actually forgotten who you... Well, again, that's, okay, that's okay, still... Okay, tell still me, your, what's the problem? You're what's skating, the problem? You're skating around, around the issue, though, aren't you? Yeah, okay. I'm skating uh, like what, you're not, hiding. No, 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 there's an issue, but you're just skating around the truth, aren't you, really? Yes. Again, so no. so what... Just If we can just go into a bit more detail, what sketches was it that you actually was, sent to this producer? Well, it's called Urban Monologues. Yeah. And it's me some doing some urban monologues. One was and, about Shakespeare. And, and these, are, these are a new set of sketches, right? Yes, new set of sketches. One of and, them was... One of them was... And when, when we were workshopping this, this shit out, what, what was the uh, general consensus of, of the... And the uh, uh, did we workshop this? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, what was the general I, consensus of this? You said it was brilliant. Go, go forth and make it. No, I, no, I, I complimented you in 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 making it, and I and I could see, um, you know, there was there was definitely a lot of potential. Yes, but I said it probably needed some work. Uh, the, I mean, the other question I have is why, you know, we've been doing this podcast alone for quite a while. You know, yes. it's episode number eighteen now, um, yeah. and we've also been doing sort of little sketches and comedy shit on the side for. Yes. For a few years, and so we've got we've got a bit of a body of work. So the question is, why did you decide to go with this these sketches? You know, the most recent ones that uh, you know you you knew in the heart of hearts it, it didn't really it didn't really uh, reflect the the duo of what we actually did. It was just it was just the sound show again, wasn't it? It was just the sound show and. Actually, from from, from no, no. the meeting, no, no. Let me finish, and and, and actually from the, 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 the you know the little uh, chat that we had before about them, which you said you're saying that that we we didn't have, but we did. You know, it, they still needed work, and they weren't the strongest part of the work. So why did you send just you know you, you know as a portfolio of work that we could you could have picked on? Why did you 
choose your the most recent solo project? It was an accident. It just happened to be the most recent thing I did. Is uh, you know, it just happened to be there. I just had it in my Dropbox. Just accidentally happened to have the links, and she's like, you know, I'm being lazy, so I put that on there. Oh, so Okay, so okay. I'd have fine, to go okay, to YouTube fine, on the fine, tabs fine, and just put all these things fine, there. Fine, yeah, because it's quite difficult to to navigate to a to a YouTube page and and, and select the URL and and so, and then copy and paste, isn't it? I mean, that's that's quite. It's not not like you send me about twenty links every fucking day. Uh, it's, anyway, let that one slide. So then, then a cut. You know, like a week goes by, no another phone call from you this time, saying you've got a call with a another tv commissioner yes and what was it that you decided to uh just thought that that you should try and pitch uh how did you find out about this well you called me you told me about it all right it was, it was just like just a tip with sans thank you it wasn't was it i oh. mean it could, it could it could have been because we have been working on quite a lot of collaborative uh you know, we've been working on quite a lot of projects collaboratively over the last uh, three or four years that we, that we've been really trying to, you know, break yeah. into the comedy game. Obviously, unsuccessfully, hence why we're doing this shit. But if you're listening to it, love you, love you, thank you, really appreciate you. Thanks for making us one thousandth in the Podomatic comedy list. Excellent. But yeah, so uh, what reach the, for the stars. What, what was the, what was the thinking about you just um, choosing? A script which you wrote again, probably in the early part of this century, and why? Why did you? And nothing, nothing new. Well, I feel like you're getting Judge Judy on me. I think your feelings are hurt. No, no I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm just. Try, I'm trying. Trying to. I'm trying to work this out. I'm trying. I'm trying to unpack. I'm trying to unpack. So, you're, you're like. You're like the woman that comes whose, whose husband comes home with like lipstick all over his face and like smells of fanny, and and the woman just goes, "I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I just want to understand." Were you with Barbara yesterday? And the man goes, no, I wasn't with Barbara. Hey, you got a bicycle. Yeah, Barbara was Dutch. Uh... <laughs> anyway, sounds... Just, so, just, so that's just, eased just, the tension somewhat. Just, so... on, just, just hurry up before, before I okay. have to... Uh... Yeah, that's what I want to say. Okay. That's, I see you're getting emotional there. But I just something I wrote and just happened to accidentally you're fall such out a... of my... Okay. Jesus. Oh, yeah, okay. So, so what, you, go back, back to so, the... So uh... what's your problems, Kit? Kit, you're, you're having an emotional issue with something. No, Tell no, me. Stop, no, stop trying to flip it. I've asked you a question. I'm just trying to work out because, you know, everything... For the last few years, you've actually said, you know, it was let's come on, let's do this, come on, let's do this, come on, let's do this collaboratively. Yeah, let's do, let's work on this. You know, and when we've been trying to, we've been, we've been, you know, like a like a, a pair and a duo, uh, and then the one like even snifter of any sort of, of opportunity and chance, you you f-ing ditch me, ditch me like a wet soggy biscuit. No. I'm actually leaving the door open. No, no, I'm leaving the door open for you to sneak in. So I'm going in, going. Hardly, hey, hardly. I've got these hardly, ideas. Because you, hard, got hard, this. Hardly, because you get this one opportunity. Have you never seen a Mike? You get this one opportunity, and you and you use the weakest f-ing ideas, and you can't see that they're weakest uh, f-ing ideas because you're too f-ing attached to them. Oh, oh no, but I wrote them. I wrote them. This is my art. This is my craft. Oh yeah, I wrote them all. I wrote them all. Yeah. It's an achievement writing something. It's an achievement writing a full length script from start to finish. But that's it doesn't mean it's any good, does it? Well, it does. If it people mean tell it's me it's good, it's good. Yeah, it's so good. So what happened from these meetings? Nothing. They said, oh, yeah, well done for doing it. Come back with something better. You. Yes, it's like when you go speed dating, you're just waiting for them to call you. I'm just I, I am the lady just waiting for that phone call of the guy to call me. You know, it might take weeks, months, years, but I'm still willing to wait. Do you want, do you want me to send you the script and you can rewrite it the way you want? No. You just put the words in. Are you sure? Are you, I, I am David Mamet. I am David Mamet giving crack? you... Are you on crack? The, I, am, I am David Mamet and I'm about to give you something. speed the plough. 
to read through right. something. Do you want we, that speed the plow? We collaboratively work on stuff all the time, and we've even done this. And I've and I've given you pointers. In fact, if, if a few years ago you sent me that script, I've given you the same pointers that you told me relayed the actual professional gave to you. You. So if we listened to and done that four years ago, we might be actually somewhere now and not just on this Skype call. And now an awkward pause break. Well, it's a road less traveled. You should have been more bullshy in your opinions. You're like quite passive because, well, maybe you should change it into a, a girl. OK, fine. But if you say we need to change this into a girl. If you're a studio exec, you'd be shouting at me and I'd make those changes. But you won't. You're like a mate in a pub saying, you know. Make the changes. I didn't. OK. I didn't. We we had a we had a full out conversation and turned into many different arguments, and then I backed down at the end of it because you, it looked like you were getting too f***ing passionate and insulted, and that you weren't going to ever speak to me again. And bef but and despite how you try and cut this podcast, I'm not actually that much of a prick. Well, I mean, I, okay, I am, I am, I am a bit of, a I am a bit of, a and there's no oh, going see, around that. See, I'm going to take that little section and just put that right at the beginning. Then just, we'll have the just credits. after, can you feel the power of the power of the kit? Uh, oh, of yeah, the yeah, kit? yeah. Of the <laughs> kit? Yeah. <laughs> are you, are you trying to steal my show? Yeah, you see, you, look, you're trying to take the show away from me. That's what it is. The power, the power, the power of, of the kit. kit. <laughs> ah, see? How do you fucking feel it? How do you fucking feel it or even like it? How do you like it? It's well, shit, isn't it? It's shit. Yeah, so, but, are you, you, but, you but are them, you... When you to, to, cut, to come and, you know, like, like you know, who's down on their luck. You go, why don't you come, well, why don't you try this? Why don't you come and just have a little chit-chat every, every, for once a week? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty bad when and homeless that, people are giving me money for a, for a change. So that's always good. That's, that makes me feel empowered. <laughs> nice. Nice empowering. So anyway, do you want me to just put your name back on the actual scripts? Not that I took them off. Well, exactly. It's not just that. It's not just the, the name thing, is it? I mean, that is part of it. It's, it's a the small whole fraction whole, of it. You basically, you wrote the, uh, 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 twenty years ago. I wrote a script that I think it's really good. It's still fucking relevant, but, uh, and I've been begging on trying to get just jump in and start to do something with my life. Uh, uh, well, do you think it's outdated that I still reference bros? Well, I don't. I, I don't. I keep. I keep forgetting to do your impression. You're about to have a shit hemorrhage. You should calm down a bit. I think we should do some group therapy. I'm alright. So, so, so anyway, so for the next meeting, so if I meet these execs again and these exec producers, shall I just drag you along? We'll just both sit there together, bickering, like two two old couples, like. Then I'll be saying, oh, yeah, I've got this script. This is amazing. This is brilliant. Yeah, look, look. All that. Then you're sitting there going, no, it's not like that. You've got to rewrite it. The, the, no. the, the man's going to be the woman. And we're going to have a twist in the ending. Then I'm going, oh, I don't want a twist in the ending. Then we're working out differences in front of very powerful people in London. Londonwood. Hollywood, London. I didn't, I didn't, say, I didn't say that at all. It's just if you, if, you, if you did not been so defensive about it four years ago, then, then it, it, this opportunity might not have just been a nice chat. Yeah, I mean, it makes for a good show while we're still bickering. That's good. Still 18 episodes of bickering. Except that anything you do is possibly never wrong. You're one. You're you're the worst sort of people. You can't can never admit. You hold hold your ha hands up and just admit that, that things are wrong. I've been watching on Netflix, right? Because it's on Netflix now. It was on YouTube. I think Netflix bought it. Cobra Kai. Do you know what that is? Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Everyone's been talking about Cobra Kai actually. Yeah. Yes. So, is it good? It is it, so Cobra Kai is I mean I mean this also this might land well with our uh, American audiences, of which of which is our biggest demographic. Yes, because those so, guys get Brit humor, I got Brit humor. So it's Cobra Kai is like a a, 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 a well, two series of uh, on from the Karate Kid, uh, the first Karate Kid film where. Uh, uh, Johnny Lawrence is the guy who got kicked in the face, and uh, Danny LaRusso is the guy is the Karate Kid, and it's like their lives now, and um, it's kind of follow, following following them. Johnny Lawrence is still, you know, basically his life went downhill. Danny LaRusso is golden golden boy, owns his own car dealership franchise, 
doing really well for himself. Um, and then he, and then uh, Danny Lawrence kind of, you know, picks, starts picking his life back together, and by putting the Cobra Kai Karate Club back, um, starting it up. And um, so you kind of see it from the different side of the fence, really, uh, other than the '80s film. And and uh, and and so Johnny Lawrence is like a bit, bit of down of luck. Bit of a slob, bit of a stuck in the past kind of um, uh, heavy-handed. Cobra Kai is all about striking first, no mercy. It's all a bit more aggressive. Whereas uh, uh, um, Miyagi um, Karate is is all about you know like um, defense and having karate, karate using karate as defense and not not being a bit more passive about it and the yeah. way of thinking. And um, <clears throat> and I kind of thought. That's it's basically a bit like us, isn't it? Because the 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 show emphasizes how how these two people who are very similar in in lots of different ways, um, more ways than they would ever like to admit, just have a constant bicker, you know, like constant rivalry and bicker, and then their kids could start getting it on and all that kind of thing. So, um, well, 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 can I can I just ask about the similarities? Both of us know nothing about kung fu or martial arts. You know, not not that not that element. All oh, right. <laughs> but you, you know, you're you're slightly you're the slightly more laid back guy who likes to think of him. Slightly more laid back, more more bit more of a pretentious prick. I'm um, a bit more of the heart on the sleeve, uh, yeah. more in your face sort of loud. So loud. when was the last time you did a roundhouse kick? <laughs> well, well, I would like to. If this wasn't Skype, I'd like to do. What about you, snake fist? Did you do like snake to, fist? I'd like to do one into, into your. F- Balls. All I heard was into your f-ing balls. I would round. That's ha- romantic. I, I would. I'm not a violent guy, but I would roundhouse you in the prick yeah, in a f-ing heartbeat. Well, that makes for a good show. So that's that's good. So you're gonna smash my nuts in, <coughs> Cobra Kai. I mean, I mean, how would you feel, right, if episode 19 just landed like after this one goes out, and uh, you didn't know anything about it? Hey, hey can I just say something? So what? What we should do, because he can't sue us anymore. How about, what if episode 19 landed just like Robert Kennedy's aeroplane? I can do that uncut, really, can't I? Can we do that? Oh, no, it's not Robert Kennedy. It's John, uh, John F. Kennedy Jr. So what if episode 19 landed just like John F. Kennedy Jr.'s aeroplane? Can we do that? Is that a vote of confidence? Is that, is that, oh, X Factor. Tell me. Anyway. So, so the resolution that we're going to do is I'm going to drag you to every meeting that I go to. And I'm going to insert you in every single sketch that I've actually made. Do you know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I've got to get back. Yeah, I've got the pricks talking again. Yeah, I've got. OK, yeah. <clears throat> so was that? Sorry, about I... that. sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. Like, you seem yeah. to have muted me. Were you talking to your mum? Yeah, yeah, just off, off camera. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Am I going to call you Rupert Pupkin now? That's good. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, yeah, anyway. Hey, Ma! Ma! I'm on the radio, Ma! Ma! Sorry, that sounded a bit Tourette's, didn't it, when I did it spontaneously? Sorry about that. Yeah. Yes, so do you want me to drag you in every meeting that I go, and I'm going to create a character in every script I write called Kit. You're going to have a cameo appearance in everything I write forever. Even if you died in a car crash tomorrow, which I hope not. No. There'll be a posthumous Kit, and I'll get a Kit lookalike. That would you. be that would be actually quite quite um, impressive. Romantic. It would be quite impressive if, if for the fact that all of your stuff you write is shit. Oh, very true. But and, it'd have it'd have a shit cameo. You get so defensive. You get so fucking defensive about about it. I know. You, very and true. And you're not you're not for kind of work, working working things out. Well, I mean, there is. <laughs> The psychers! That's basically like, like, that nice cockney London. Life gets you down. Have a little cockney sing song. Yeah, so when life gets you down. That's a tip. That, that's a tip there. One another another tip, just a tip. I think we had two this episode. When life gets you down, have a Cockney sea song. Sea song, sea song, sea song. Sing a song.
do you think they should use that in the army? So when they go into battle, they actually sing knees up Mother Brown as they walk into the line of fire. I think they do. Do you think it's actually the breaking, breaking news. news with sand? <laughs> Hello, my Ma- I, 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 I sand. Oh, today on the news, with, uh, let me just Google two thousand and four. Oh no! Oh. Oh, Amy Winehouse is a rising star. You know, we haven't asked Joves anything yet. No. Do, sh- sure do we, we have a question for Joves? In fact, yeah. let's ask Joves what he thinks about our our professional partnership. I was going to say relationship, but it's, it's not. We're not. We're not the village people, so that's fine. So, Joves, here's a question for you. What do you think of mine and Kit's professional partnership? Joe's here. Yep, I don't really care about your professional friendship. I'm developing a major alcoholic problem, which is quite impressive for a digital device. So just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Use Google. I know you paid for my services and developed me as an app, but use Google. I just don't care anymore. I mean, well, that's quite predictable, isn't it? Well, I didn't expect that, actually. That's quite I, surprising. I, really? I, that's predictable. Joe's is always, he's always saying that. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair enough. Okay, well, it's a bit of a one-trick okay. pony. Wonder why that is? Because that trick is you, you selfish cock. You know, you you know, you're breaking the fourth wall and the fifth wall. Why? You know, you're you're pulling back the curtain. No, Joe's is real. It's actually a processor unit what's with that, a big what, server what was that thing, somewhere. What was that thing about, in the Philippines. about twenty years ago? What was that thing about twenty years ago? Uh, curb your enthusiasm. Yes. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, great show, but f- that. I mean, well, we we are meta within meta within meta. Yeah, I mean, our yes, our streams are actually quite intertwined, admittedly. What our streams? Nice one jazz. One. Not 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 that not that intertwined, because obviously you can't you have to stand at least sort of a, a meter apart from each other now whilst yeah. you're having a piss. Okay, can I just mention something? You know, we've gone completely off piece and off the remit of like helping other people. No, I've, give, I've given you. No, we're trying to help other people. Now, now it is time for the rap that Sands is about to freestyle to help people, help themselves. Sands. One, two. One, two. Kit yeah, there, 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 there you are. There you are. That's 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 Sansa's help. Uh, he's oh. he's helping you to count, obviously. Jesus. Well, I was about to get into it. Oh, uh, look. Uh, yeah, well, okay, okay, go on. Well, no, I've lost it now. I'm gonna have to do it for the next. Step. You know what? Send me the beats, and I'll actually do it no. offline, and no. I'll insert it no. in and make it no. look like a live no. freestyle. No. Eminem does no. it all the time. No. Do you no. think he just like no? He wakes up this... and freestyles for breakfast. This sound effect is basically our podcast. I mean, yeah. Can we have, can can I can I give you like a can I give you some cultural information? I thought about this the other day. Did you say yes? It's a funny old game. It's getting better by the day. I could be a millionaire if I may. Wife has gone, my daughter won't be long. But generally speaking, don't work with Sands because he's selfish. <laughs> you can't put that in a pre watershed title sequence. <clears throat> but yeah, I think I think that that's probably the uh, the actual lyrics. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Well, it's, hold on a sec. Someone's just calling me. I think it's the same guy actually. Yeah, mate. What, what do you want? Like, I gave you a cup of money five minutes ago. You want more money? I put all the cash I have on the Oscar this goes to. small hostel room. I've got, I know you've got tattoos. I know you're going to f*** me up, but I've got to make a stand. Okay, okay, look, look, look. Do you want to take my shoes? You going to take my shoes? Okay, look, just take the shoes. Don't bother me. I just want a warm place to sleep. That's not my car, okay? Thanks. Oh, mate. So was, oh, mate. Actually, what, was... what happened there? That sounded really serious. Yeah, well, no, no, it was actually quite serious, but I, t- I gave him the... Yeah, you didn't hear any of that, did you? I'm sure I no, muted no, it. No, no, of course, Yeah, of course. yeah, no, I, I told him yeah. to f*** off, basically. I said, look, just get out of here. Look, 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 I want the money that I gave you back, and I want you to go, and I want you to give me your clothes. Not in a weird way, but, you know, just like, just like, spare clothes. And yeah, yeah, 
upset. He was so upset. He took a garden hedge trimmer and used that to cut the hedges. It was a car driving away. It, uh, whatever sound effect it could be. Yes, then he got in a car and drove off at high speed in a car chase. You have been warned, you are now about to go into the extreme source zone. Have I told you about the Dutch wanking cars? I know it's a segue. No, go on. So, this is actually a true story. So, in, 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 in Amsterdam, they actually had these Dutch wanking cars. So it's like a normal car where you go driving, but you, have, you can close the door and you sit there. Rather than have a steering wheel, you actually have a porno movie. And you actually wank off to the porno movie, which is bizarre. And apparently, this is popular during lunchtime. That's it. So, your yeah. thoughts on this Dutch wanking card? Do you think we should introduce it in London? Yeah, yeah, but only on Wednesdays. Only on Wednesdays? Why Wednesdays? Is that like <laughs> when Pret a Manger's are all closed? And there's <laughs> to <laughs> totally, do? mate, totally, absolutely. Do it again. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So, Wow. Well, <laughs> that was where that would get be, in the car. That, do you reckon we could use that music for the sound sitcom? Uh yeah, we could. We'll just be sued by the network that actually created it. <laughs> but you won't want to do it again, will you? Because uh, I just think of the idea twenty years ago. I've had one idea and I'm gonna that's all the only thing I'm ever gonna do. I think for the next episode we do need to get back on on, on track, essentially. Cool. We need to actually have a running list. We need to get letters from people. Kit, we are put on this earth to help people. Yeah, so we well, should help I have, people. I, I have given, if count them, I have given two tips in this episode. Uh, but I you'll even... cut them out and make me look like a right bell end. You know what? The other thing is... Do. 18 episodes in. What's going to happen in 19? What's going to... Oh, I wonder what, what, what are we going to do for 20? What are we going to do on our 20th episode? Well, let's not think about that because it probably won't happen. Yes, uh, we, we had the longevity. I mean, I'm surprised because that we Sans, made it past five. Do you know why it's going to happen? Because, because Sands is going to be waiting in the, the f***ing toilet for some producer to come in and wait and unzip their fly. Oh, I could give me a job. Ah, I'll do what? anything. Oh, yeah, I am in a duo and we haven't got a bit of a, a binding kind of contract. But don't want to do it. Oh, yeah, let me, oh, let me have a shower yeah. in your jizz. But 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 Kit, you know the casting couch does work for middle middle aged Asian men as well. We all have to milk it the same way we do. Mm -hmm. Is that politically incorrect? I've got now no. that the BBC now that the BBC and have to bleep all of this. Now that the BBC are like what getting rid of left wing comedy, which means there's only going to be right wing comedy left. Which means Jim Davidson will have his own show for the first time in thirty years. I think I've accidentally just reacted to something. <laughs> on, is that your on. is that your jizz face? That's that's your yeah. jizz face, isn't it? Oh wow! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go back, go back. So you think you think that the BBC is ending left wing comedy? Yes. And so, what do you say about right wing comedy? That might be making resurgence. You do know that I just read the headline and didn't read the actual full article, so I'm actually well okay. in uninformed okay. of okay. actually what's exactly happening. Well, why don't you make up the story? Oh yeah, yeah. So basically, hang, Frankie hang, Boyle. I've got, hang on, I've got, I've got, uh, I've got news somewhere, haven't I? Uh, is it this one? Breaking news. Welcome, and and now on to just the chip. Just I can't even speak. I've had one beer, and now on <laughs> just on to just the chip channel. Just I don't know. Right, third third attempt, and now on the just the chip channel. Some breaking news with Sands the twat. Thank God this isn't live. News. Well, basically, in the news today, reading just from the top headline, BBC is getting rid of left-wing comedy. That means, without reading the article itself, to find out exactly what the information is, the BBC are going to reintroduce right-wing comedy, which means Jim Davidson will have his own variety show, Saturday night, getting rid of left-wing comedy. People like Anton Deck, Simon Cowell, Chi Chi the Clown. All of them will be gone. Hello, Mr. Sands. Hello, Mr. Sands. I was just wondering, are they going to bring back curry and chips? That will actually be the first commission made by Kevin Ligo. 
I mean, this or is a bit TV. weird, isn't it? It's like it's like you're talking to yourself. How it's like Inception. Oh, hello, hello, old, older version of myself. Oh my god, this is, this is Sans from two thousand and two. Oh, I really think by this point I'm probably I'm, I'm writing a script at the moment, and I think it's really relevant. And and hopefully, in eighteen years' time, I'm going to be a famous film director, and I, and and I won't be living in a car and doing a podcast with somebody who I, who I just shit on every week, or despite him giving me a slight opportunity and show, show me a little. Just, I don't show any gratitude. No, I won't because I'm a bit of a selfish prick. <laughs> I'll see you later. I'll see you in 18 years, self. Okay, bye. I said all of that without moving my lips. That's amazing. Yeah. So what's your opinion on this left-wing comedy bias thing? Are we going there again? I yes. Mean, I mean, just for your opinion. Just for your opinion, which I'll cut out anyway. So, yeah, just say what you like. Uh, well, do you just want me to say do you, what, what, uh, what, how we're going to spin this? Do you, do you want what me to... part of say what you like? Do you not understand what you made you malfunction? Yeah, but you, you're, you're basically just going to go, oh, yeah, well, I, I go with the left, man. I go with oh, everything, I go with the left because I think I want to be liked. All I want to be is just liked, man, because I'm just a likable character. Hi, my name's Sands, yeah, and I'll do anything. Just to be a light. Oh, but actually, when you look at it, I'm really a bit of a prick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. I must admit, it's easy in Soho. You just buy people drinks because they're all basically major alcoholics. So that way you can actually ingratiate yourself by buying all the drinks. It makes me broke as fuck. But that's not the point. You have to spend money to make money. Except in our situation, we've made no money. We spent with no gain. And and uh, you and your friend who who I still I can't remember the name of, but he sounds like another another tosser. Both both completely <laughs> rip me for not living in London. And uh, uh, who, who famous lives outside of London? No London, no London centric. Yes. Uh, everything London centric. Yeah, because it's really worked for you that success, hasn't it? Yeah, I can be anywhere. Where I can be West Seven. West 1, West yeah. 13. And how's your career the going, Sands? You have to go to your home county's train station, wait for the train that's every half an hour, get straight into either Liverpool counties. Street or Kings Club. I don't live... Because basically, all you see, Sands' version of Shut the up, sorry, boy. London, London, and... and f oh, you, you can... Oh, I was going to let it slide. I was going to let it slide. But if you say that I'm from Surrey, that is the biggest oh, insult you could ever say, you massive, massive... You know, no, seriously, you know, I'm going to riff right. You rip your fucking new one now. Oh, look! Uh, all, all you see, you see London, and then you just basically see like up the rest of the country and home counties. You don't even know how, what the home counties is. Do you? Are you up the, You know, we've lost the whole of Surrey as a podcast oh, viewership. Oh, good, good. They can, they can go and fuck off. Honestly, what? sorry, fuck off. So we've got this world map in Podomatic where we can actually see where everyone's listening, and obviously a major. Uh, no one in Surrey in will ever listen to this show because everyone is And now we're going to have a small Surrey-like thing that's just no one's ever going to listen to. You know, like with the whole Liverpool thing where they boycotted the Sun? The whole of Surrey is going to boycott our podcast. Good, good, because at least, at least we get some f***ing press. And then and then we can say sorry and we can do a massive charity gig in in, in you know, Hampton Court. And... Do you know what we should do? I, you know, I'd, I'd be very happy if Nick Ferrari brought us on LBC to talk about this situation. So, so guys, the whole of Surrey's just boycotted your podcast. Yeah, it's strange because no one actually listens to it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Even well, they will probably well, be both well, bickering. JJ, JJ Bryan. Oh, yeah, what so, are you doing? What so, are you, for those who are not watching the actual video, what are you so, doing? So. Oh, sorry, I just realised you what like, you're doing. You don't like Surrey. Just tell me you don't really like Surrey. Now, now okay, okay, okay. I'm going to. Get on my soapbox now. I, I, I don't know. I can't really think of anything to say. No, I realised what you did with headphones. I thought he was trying to be an international DJ by having one ear out. But you're actually doing James O'Brien. For anyone who's actually listening, that was a pointless fucking comment. Which is fine. Did you, actually, did, did you actually just hold your headphones like that? You've got no drinking etiquette. So for all those listening and not watching, Kit is actually taking a sip but holding the headphones so it doesn't fall to the back of his shoulders. Bell end. Do you want to staple those headphones to your head like a five-year-old? <sighs> Do you need a tip? That's my tip, Kit.
all the silent treatment. So, like it. so, so you're there in in in, in London because you've never moved out, and you're too afraid to move out of London, and you think I the whole. I hear there's world, crime you, outside you, of the M25. You hear you hear the world, whole world around, evolves around around some around London. In fact, or even if you do live in a boring suburb when nothing ever f-ing happens and it's you and, yeah no you you live in a suburb of f-ing london but you live in the home that counties you, that you go i don't live in the home counties yes i don't live in the home counties where do you live i live in another part outside which isn't the home counties okay you're not saying anything which means you're on witness protection which is yes which is probably the worst time to do a podcast or a video cast yeah. And basically, put your face all over YouTube. <coughs> all over it, all over it. Um, well, I, I mean, like, I, I'm testing. I'm. I mean, to be honest, the witness protection scheme is going pretty well, even with the podcast, because I think we've had about seven views, and none, none of those seven are who, who are the people who were chasing me. So, um, <laughs> so they are doing a good job, clearly. Yeah. Professional hitmen, yeah. All but anyway, they do is anyway, just so, open so up so the you, Instagram feed. So you and you and you, you and your friend, you and your friend. <laughs> Oh, because you're really successful, the both of you, aren't you? You see, oh yeah, but if we live somewhere where people are successful, then maybe we can cling on to their, their coattails like a little cling or cling on to their arsehole. Yes. Because it's really worked for you so far, which ironically All... is what you tried to do with me, and I don't even live in London. All that happened was I told my mate where you live, the area you lived in, and he goes, oh, bloody hell, no celebrities ever live there. But you actually mentioned a celebrity that actually lives near to you, near you. Well, who, actually, who, 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 it's like Joey Essex yeah. or someone like well, him, you, isn't if it? If you look at if you look at all the people, all the people who lived near you and your sort of a friend, and Sean and Connery, quote that, quote that Sean to Connery, him. Sean quote Connery, not of a friend, right? Sean Connery. Yes. Did you say I like that quote? Quotation mark. Cunt, Cunt of, a, of friend. a friend. Yeah. 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 So we can call him Coaf. Coaf. No, that's, yeah. that's good. Yeah, we can call him Coaf. Uh, so you, you can tell Coaf that, uh, that that it's really helped him out, isn't it? Because he's really obviously majorly successful successful in whatever he does and really famous and doing, yeah. and just from living where he's living. And... No, so, no, there is actually a Coaf out there. We might have to change it. We'll go with it now, but it's quickly, there's actually a charitable open access fund, Coaf, that exists. Or, or just <laughs> of a friend. Of a friend, yeah. Yeah, Coaf. So no, no. So it's got nothing to do with what you just read out of Google. He's just a co yes. uh, and he's your co and he is a bellend. It's a little, yeah. little kind of probably, probably high, like higher dreams of aspirations, but and thinks that he's a like his opinion is actually far more valid and worthy than it really is because no one gives a fuck and he's going to die lonely have you seen quadrophenia no you should watch quadrophenia oh, no, of course i have quadrophenia yeah, of, course I have. of course i have yeah so basically me and my mate are the mods we are the mods we are the mods so we go outside of london to brighton oh sorry did someone text you yeah oh okay do you want to read the text out you yeah, know seeing as it just you know ruins my flow yeah go on is it is it your Love Island WhatsApp? It says group? no, uh, no, it's not because that's not on, is it? That's that's not on. Yeah, but sometimes people like to just drag this on and goes. Do you remember that episode? Blah blah blah. Three months after it was shown. No. Okay, cool. So I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not reading that out. Uh, although I did get a message from Bills, and we, you know, hopefully we can get sponsorship that says. We're footing the bill. The, the bills. We're footing the bills this September. Pun. That's a pun. Oh, well, that's you know a, that's punishment. Yeah. Do you, know, do you know what a pun is? Yes. Explain the pun. A pun is just basically a small punchline at the end. Little, 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 little humorous aperitif. There you go. If you had to explain it to someone who didn't speak English, uh, it's it's a humorous aperitif. What's an aperitif? Aperitif is a luxury item that you have that's very scintillating right at the end of a. Gorgeous meal of words. So, so why why are you putting a gorgeous a gorgeous meal at the end of of, of a sentence? Gorgeous meal of words. So, but why why would you have a gorgeous meal of words at the end of a sentence? Because of the uplifting ending of the statement. You re- at f- 
fucking hell. You can't even you can't even explain what a fucking pun is. This is what I'm working with. Jesus Christ. Well, anyway, we're Googled, footing the bills. I should have Googled it actually. We're but... footing the bills this September up to fifty percent off when you're, when dining. I don't I don't even remember giving Bills my number. Yeah. Wait a second. Bill Bill Bills is weird. Now I don't know. Can can, can a restaurant sue me? Probably. Probably. Okay. Well, let, let me just say it. Don't say anything loud. bad because we want we want sponsorship because we can we can no, put no. things to it. No, 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 no. no, I've been to Bill's. I love the food. You know, I genuinely love the food, right? It's it's really nice. It's like English food and that kind of thing. It's really nicely done. It's different. It's a, I've got the busy Bill's. We're, we're in a busy Bill's. Okay. The big problem with Bill's I have is all of the restaurants, and it's a massive chain everywhere, they're all empty or they have very few customers. I think it's basically a front business for drugs. I think they're basically funneling drugs to keep the bill, yeah, no, bill business no, going. No, 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 you can't say that. But no, no, I mean, I'll look, I'll run with it, but I'll cut it out most probably anyway. Yes. You can't, so, so, you, you, could, so, you can't. You can't say that is a front for drugs. Okay, so basically, what you're saying is a restaurant chain can actually sue me as a whole. Yeah, of course. Okay, so basically. If, we, if this ended up in court and they did chase the actual issue of what I just said, incendiary, they would as play, it was... They would play this episode in court and it would be the most amount of listens we ever, we've ever had. <laughs> well, let's do it then. Yeah, but it's <laughs> is a front for drugs. <laughs> <laughs> They're drugs. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, oh yeah, no, we have to get a top judge, a top entertainment judge. Are you, oh, who's the judge that was on the... Ju- judge Lance Ito. He was the judge that was on the O.J. Simpson trial. Can we get him to sit in with us? He's a bit of a celebrity, isn't he? We should get him. Oh, hey, hey, who's been calling Billy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you been doing drugs? Boy. Yeah, should we live stream that court case? So it'd be the people versus bills, which would be really weird in itself. It's very strange. And then when you're out of prison... It's a funny game. It's getting better by the day. I could be a billionaire. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to wrap. We're gonna have to wrap this up shortly because the the electricity is gonna run out essentially. So I'll be. F-ed. So I want to like basically cuddle up to myself. So I've got a couple of questions. Why have we an inability to get any guests? We're up to episode eighteen and we have got no guests. What the f- is the problem? We got no guest. Yeah. Thanks for that. Was that was that a pun? <laughs> no. Was that an emotional aperitif? The next episode, you're gonna know. You're gonna research what pun is. Yes. Well. Yeah, what, yeah. Can when, we not, why can we not why don't co-op? we have guests? Can we not get co-op on the show. Sorry. Can we not get co-op on the show? I keep trying to, but he's sort of scared. I think he's scared of you, actually. Why? 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 Hmm. See, people from where I live uh, don't amount to anything. So, so yeah. Why? Okay. Okay. I, I think I think what he actually said was that. Kit sounds like a podcast version of a brutal prison guard. I'll tell you that. I mean, I'll, I'll feed that back to him, but I don't think we'll get him on the show. Why not? But the thing is, look. Because like, he'd, uh, he'd, he'd, ra- he'd ra- rather sit in the safety of his fucking keyboard Yes. in somewhere in the fucking suburbs. I mean, you're nearer a fucking suburb than I am. Behind his keyboard going, Oh, yes, well, I'm living next door to Alice. Alice, who the fuck? No, not sorry, that's a different song. Well, oh, oh yeah, maybe, maybe if if I because because you you were friends with him like a long a long time, so he sounds like you. Oh yeah, well if I live here, then I'm gonna be really successful. Oh, well, but I'm not. Oh no, but oh, but I think I'm really judgmental. Oh yeah, but I'm actually really liberal minded. But no, I'm, I'm not. I'm really. I'm actually quite a conservative, really. But no, I'm not. I'm really liberal. I'm really liberal. Yeah, no, no, but you can't do that. You can't say. No, but I am really liberal. I'm really liberal. Oh no, I don't like anyone outside of London because I'm that f***ing liberal, aren't I? I'm really f***ing liberal. Oh yes, I'm f***ing liberal. Yeah, but I don't like anyone outside of London. No, no, I'm really f***ing liberal. Stop, look how f***ing liberal I am. Don't care how liberal I am because I'm really f***ing liberal. But I don't like anyone. I don't like anyone outside of London. I don't like anyone who doesn't look the same as me because I'm really f***ing liberal, aren't I? I'm really f***ing liberal. Anyway, that's your mate. You know what? As you got to the end of that entire rant, your face started looking like the guy from Doom. I tell you it's what, quite it's quite good. Oh, no, no, the guy from Doom when he when he's at five percent like body armor. Sorry, say again. Uh, no, I've said it already. Don't worry. 
Right. Bit, I'll, I'll turn the volume up when I actually do the editing of this so James. the audience can hear it. James, what does Sam say? Don't ask me, you common little pleb. I mean, I don't even know why we use James because it's <laughs> he's f***ing useless. Well, Joe's was actually our invention, so we sort of had to bring it to market. You know, like, like was it Amstrad? Amstrad sure. was never a great brand, but they came to market, even though, it, and, you know, they were popular. People bought it because it was a cheaper alternative to anything good. Shall we do, shall we do an alternative? Because obviously, you know, you've got, you've got Siri and you've got Google and you've got Alexa. Yes. So why don't, and, and, and we've got Joe's, so why don't we have another one, like a Spoogly? Spoogle. Spoogle. Oh, Spoogle. Spoogle, Spoogle, I think. Shall we just shall we just uh, Google Spoogle? Yeah, let's Google Spoogle. I'm I'm googling Spoogle. You sound Spoogle. like one of those. Yeah, Spoogle. Hang on, Urban Dictionary. <laughs> oh god, this is. <laughs> okay, read it out, Kit. Come on, read it out. <laughs> Spoogle to come ejaculate maliciously in one's eye. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Kit, I don't think we're going to use Spoogle, are we? I think we'll have to think of something else. We'll have to Okay, think fine. Of let's let's leave that for the next show. So we'll stick with Joves. <laughs> Joves, are you happy for us to use you? I don't know why I'm looking up there. Because because I mean Joves is not Jesus. Even if Joves isn't happy, then we can we can just have a Joves Spoogle slash whatever <laughs> whatever we choose to have the fight. They can have yeah. a fight next episode. It, I mean, in terms of guests as well. I mean, as she's walking, I was walking around Waitrose trying to like just canvas people, trying to get them to like participate, but no one actually cared. I did try and, and get some. I did, and I told you about this, didn't I? I did try and get someone from another podcast, and they said no. And obviously, I can't say who it is because. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, you told me about this. From actually, a different so... genre. From a different genre of podcast. From a sporting genre of podcast. I did ask them to uh, to come on the podcast. Yeah. And, so, so, so and they said get, they said they couldn't right. add anything to this. I mean, of course they could f***ing add to They could add, they could be this heralded this as f***ing star. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, but, but do you know what actually make happened us if look, you read between the lines? Sorry? If you read between the lines, what happened was you asked this person to be on the podcast. You they listened the to it. They listened to the actual podcast, freaked the fuck out, and they basically gave you a bullshit excuse of like, yeah, I can't add anything new. I'm scared. He doesn't want to be the lucky the guy in the middle of a lucky Pierre. Okay, All right. And do you know what lucky Pierre is? <sighs> so, something that is pretentious pricks use to floss their teeth. I will put that in the show notes. So you're gonna have to read it there. Okay. Simple as that. So, uh, and to be honest, I actually ended up going to Lidl, and you won't believe uh, nobody in Lidl. And you think those are the kind of like people that would just be desperate to be on X Factor or any podcast. They didn't want to have any interest. That literally is the look they gave. Are you are you having a nervous breakdown? No. Have you finished your beer? You finished your water? Shall we try and get someone else? Another person from a podcast? Yes. I'll get another person. Anyone. Anyone. Well, I mean we had we had when did you try and when did you try and get <laughs> you have to bleep his name as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, and when... to be honest, I've given up I've given up on him. Yeah, I know, but when did you We're try have to and get, get someone? It's like episode six, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was episode six. Then we gave up on episode yeah. nine, ten. Yeah. So it's all st started petering okay. out. But so we need someone we, see, we need someone who's basically got no inhibitions and is basically happy to be in a very eccentric podcast. OK, I, I think I think I might. I'll, I'll send you the link to someone who, who I, uh, in fact, hang on. Real time. Let's talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Oh dear, Kit's turned into a court typist. That's good. Is this? <laughs> oh, okay. Yep, he's got nice teeth. That's yeah. Good. So, so do you know this person? Well, define no. Uh, okay, that's a negative. Define define no. I, the defendant I, answered in the uh, negative. Have I have I ever had a conversation about diarrhea and? And sweaty ball bags with this person. Is that yes? Probably. I prob I probably have <clears throat> because I talk about those two subjects a lot. Excellent. And I have spoken with this person before. All oh, right. That's quite emotional. Okay. So, uh, okay. Well, now that we've actually uh, look, have we settled the uh, air in this kind no, of thing? No, not at all. Because I know that you're just you're still just going to off. And it, uh, 
the uh, the sniff of anything. Well, no, the, the, no, the, the, the hint, the 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 wealth. Okay, in a future, of, of, in a of future any podcast, success. Yeah. Kit, in a future podcast, we're actually going to do a live podcast of us chatting to a commissioner. So we'll do that. It won't be the next episode. Probably be the episode afterwards. So you're going to be front and center with me in a room, and we're going to record it. I won't tell them that we're actually recording it, and we're going to basically have a meeting of us both together. And let's see how that's going to next, out. Your next meeting. Yes. Your next meeting. You're going to My invite next me meeting. to next meeting, and we yeah, secretly with... record it and we put it on the podcast. Exactly. Yes. We might okay. get in trouble with it, but you know that's fine. That's how we live on the edge, man. Yeah. Okay. We live. Uh, and, right and, and, there and, cruise and the thing is, even even if we, even if we have to fix it, we 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 still have to pay someone as a third voice. No, we're actually going to have a <laughs> genuine commissioner. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Of course. Mm-hmm. Say no more. Say no more. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Oh, say no more. Say no more. Oh. Okay, so that'll be a future podcast. We've managed to get through quite a few of the uh, minutes of the meeting. No, uh, no, do I do no, I say court is adjourned? Please. But I tell, I, can I, can I just mention one thing as an outro? So I drove in the car to Chipping Norton, right? Mm. And I was in a pub, obviously, and having a pint, obviously. So I went to the toilet, take a piss, right? And this is the weirdest thing. And this is, I think, uh, maybe anyone in Chipping Norton who listens to Just a Tip should understand mm. this. So I'm taking a piss. I looked at the wall. You know, you have normal graffiti. People just like, oh, Dave was here, or oh, take a piss, or some, some witty pun. Yeah? So, but this one says, if you want a great shag, Call this number, and it had the number, but underneath it actually had a picture of a cock and balls. Now I don't understand why someone has to write the text and actually has to accentuate it with some artwork. What? So if they were dyslexic, they wouldn't know the text, but they know what the offer was. Well, I know. So sorry, sorry, sorry. I switched out. So I was, I was reading something out. Someone sent me a message, which was far more entertaining than um, than. So someone sent me a message to uh, to remind me about my my next dentist appointment, which is far more interesting than your story. Can you in in the cock and balls pretend the, the this cock story? And balls artwork. Pretend this story, right, is a pitch. Can you do it in a minute, please? And I'll do it in a minute. Starting now. So there I was in Chipping Norton in the pub. Minding my own business, sipping a pint. I decided to take a piss. That's what you do when you drink alcohol. So, while I'm standing there in the toilet, I don't know why I'm getting into, like, um, you know, lock, stock, two smoking barrels. So there I am, sitting in the toilet, taking a piss. I look at the wall, and I see a nice little sign that says, For a great shag, call this number. Then right underneath, someone wrote a cock and balls. So, I'm looking at the cock and balls, and I'm thinking, Why does someone need to draw cock and balls? So I decided to call the number. They were busy, but they're free next Tuesday. There I am. Here's my phone number, cock and ball story for the dyslexics. How much have I done? That's uh, 45 seconds. Well done. 45 seconds. Yeah, I might actually put that as a package and send it to like Clive at Universal and see what they say. Yeah, that was. uh, was And that stand up comic say, that's a callback. You're not impressed, are you? I mean, I mean, one of the other ideas that we want to do is called the stand-up guys. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to put quite a lot of work into that, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to have to put quite a bit of work into that. Yeah. Yes, that's going to be something that has to be done. And what are stand-up guys, Sans? The stand-up guys, again, this is quite meta. It's about two guys who basically obsess with stand-up comedy. And as the voiceover in the opening actually says, which we're going to play now... But two guys think it's a great idea to start a stand-up night. Not any old stand-up night, but a stand-up night during the day with no audience. This is the new normal, so what can go wrong? Fuzzy Dice presents the stand-up guys. In the year 2020, the world is fucked. So these two guys, the stand-up guys... You you just said you're going to play now, and then you said it again. Yes, I'm accentuating. Because I've taken the trailer voice, because that's actually the trailer voice. And I'm going back to... Me actually explaining it to accentuate. Yeah, you gonna, uh, and thing. also that's yeah, it's the only voice you can do. But yeah, yeah. Okay. Run it faster, Sans. Anyway, so the stand-up guys is actually one of the side projects we have, which is again, as I said, meta. I'm gonna have to clean this one up a bit. And it's basically two guys who cannot 
who need to start a stand-up comedy series. They need to do live comedy and they fail miserably at it. And that's probably the best result of the pitch I could... Did, did you just yawn? <laughs> no, sorry. I did, yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. long night, is it, Kit? <laughs> I thought the stand-up guys was just um, us doing stand-up outside. It pretty much is, but the fact that we're actually filming it makes it look us make makes us look even more inept. Okay. Meta. Everyone loves a bit of meta. Anyway, should we wrap up the show? Have you been watching a lot of Michael Winterbottom movies? No, I haven't actually. No. Now, which which ones do you reference? I'm not. I I reference my entire life as a Michael Winterbottom movie. I do. Uh, all joking oh, aside, are you, I think are you talking he's. talking about the trip? The trip I think, series. I think it's marvelous. I think it's a marvelous director. I think his work is absolutely sublime. Nice. There's quality. Which, so direct, basically... which director do you like, Sans? Which director do you, do you favour? Oh well, I mean, if you could choose any director to pick to do a movie, which is called Sans the movie, because well, and you wouldn't have a part for me, would you? Because you just fuck off and leave me stranded like a. F- shit box that you are who would direct it well it would have to be either well, Paul it. or it, Sam it, would actually, it, it would never actually be made though would it because you'd write it and people would say yeah it's, it's alright but you probably need a bit of work and you go no it's perfect it's perfect it's absolutely f-ing perfect and then you'd be sat in your car having a master cry again like you're going to do in about 10 minutes 15 actually because I've still got to eat the pizza so that, is that a metaphor Sam Peckinpah is eating the pizza a metaphor? No. Oh, okay. No, it's actual pizza. No, no, I'm not. I'm not sucking off the guy next door. If that's what you're hinting at. You, 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 you actually shrugged your shoulders as if that, that's normal. That's fine. Sands is doing something different. It's fair enough. Nice washcloth. I like it. That's good. That's a beer. I think because I, I had a bit of a spinach earlier. Is that is that a euphemism? <laughs> hey! Woo-hoo! Innuendo oh, Tuesday. I know it again. Because we missed it before. <laughs> That's the end of the show. Excellent. Okay, and. Let's end it there. Let's end it there. Okay. C- have you felt the power? The power of the tip. Yeah! And we've got an ending as well, so we can start, we can end, and then we can. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not the ending. So, soon after we finished this podcast, Kit started to send me more audio. So, I'm going to play a couple here. Here's the first one, pretending to be someone else, as usual. This film wird wie eine Woge der Leidenschaften über sie hinweg brausen. Es ist ein geiler, aber harter Weg. Einige der Mädchen versuchen, aus dieser Scheinwelt zu entfliehen, aber... Like, oh my god, he's worse than machine learning. He's now sending me messages in German. Porno German. So, try this one. He, okay, reverse back to English and give this one a listen. And hopefully this will be the last of his random, ranting, rambly messages. Pretending to be other people, like the schizophrenic freak that he is. And then I'll, I'll have like, a cup of coffee or something, go to make up and have a bit of food. Have a word with the director. And then, uh, and then come on down, darling, because I am the star of this piece, you know what I mean? Oh, of course, darling, champagne. Machen Sie mit. <laughs>